Lumina 337. Take it away. All right. <laughs> All right, are we live? We're good? Oh, oh, oh Savannah. We got a Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I was going to do is I was going to reset for a Savannah or a Desert because Savannahs and Deserts are really, really good for this category. So um, we just got one. So I guess we're ready on time already. So. <laughs> yeah. We were not prepared <laughs> we to were not, this yeah, quickly. Uh, I don't know if that showed on stream, but yeah, we got a Savannah. So um, uh, three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh, um, I guess you could explain like the category, like. Well, how how about we introduce ourselves? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm Geo Square. Uh, I suppose I'm Admiral Stapler, but everyone here is going to call me Matthew anyway. Uh, I'm Blue Crystal, and our runner here is Illumina. Yes, um, I'm your random C glitch list. So this category, um, I guess I'll, I'll say that uh, Minecraft has been run at uh, GDQ. Uh, a couple times before, and this category is much different. Do you guys want to explain uh, yeah. how different it is? Yeah, so I think in the past we did a glitched uh, all achievements run, uh, was what was done. Yeah. Um, and I think Bismus did a set seed glitched run back in the early days of GDQ. Yeah. Uh, this category is different, uh, first of all, because both the previous runs were set seed. Oh, wow, I got iron. <laughs> <laughs> this is going really well. Yeah. Um, all right, so this is a random seed run. So Illumina has never seen this world. It was completely uh, randomly selected. So a lot of this run will be improvisation. And uh, even though it's very random, uh, you can still get very consistent. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to kill some cows because uh, we're going to need lots of food because uh, one of the fastest ways to move in this game is sprint jumping. But the problem with sprint jumping is that it takes a lot of like uh, food. Like it, it really like drains your food really quickly. So we're going to have to get lots of food. Um, yeah. And I guess I'll cook this iron. That's a good idea. Yeah, and he's, he's kind of speeding through it. But uh, uh, he wants some basic materials pretty early on, like wood, which um, is used for a lot of stuff in crafting. And he wants iron, too. Iron is really important for the run. Uh, he needs at least six of it, which I believe he has. Yeah, he has. Seven. And uh, he's going to make, we'll see them later, but he's going to make a bucket, a flint and steel, and shears, which are all going to be incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to, oh, I need uh, gravel. So um, I need, there's a 10% chance that when you mine gravel, flint drops, and I need the flint for arrows later, and I need a uh, flint and steel. So right now I'm looking for gravel. Hopefully I can find some. Uh... Yeah, gravel appears near water most of Yeah, commonly. usually they're near water, but I don't see any right now. Yeah. So yeah, a big, big part of random seed is figuring out where to go on the fly and just coming up with a lot of different ways to get around and find what you're looking for. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we should mention the end goal of this category is defeating the end dragon. Um, unlike the all achievements run where you want to get all the achievements. This one, you have to find the stronghold uh, using Ender Eyes and uh, beat the final boss. Yeah, and it's not just a matter of finding the stronghold. Uh, once you do find the stronghold, uh, there's a portal which needs uh, 12 Ender Eyes. I mean, there's a random chance that each uh, portal gets frame filled. Yeah, gets filled. And, but, but the magic number is 12. Yeah. 12 is the most reliable and consistent. I really don't know where gravel is. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll look in the water back in the taiga. So let's see. The good thing is he has a lot of time to find some of these. Uh, yeah. So he, arrows, for example, uh, he won't need those until the very end of the run. So throughout the run, he's going to be looking for gravel. Okay, there's gravel all the way back here. So I guess I'll get that gravel. Yeah, it's sort of unfortunate in, uh, for this gravel here. Yeah. Although, so this category is very cycle-based, based on the day-night cycle, because most of this run is contingent on killing Endermen, which only spawn at night. Um, so he has a full 10 minutes before nighttime, so he's a bit of leeway there. Uh, okay. Yeah, you need the Endermen because they drop Ender Pearls, which is a key crafting ingredient uh, for the Eyes of Ender item that we mentioned earlier. The other crafting ingredient that you need are, um, is blaze powder, which you get in the nether. So he will be going to the nether probably on the oh, second no. day. <laughs> All right, so somebody call PETA because we're burning pigs. Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, one thing that's pretty cool and very useful is 
If a mob that drops food is on fire, uh, it will actually drop the cooked version of its food, um, which is really nice because we can use a flint and steel to just set a lot of animals on fire and get food really quickly. Yeah, smelting uh, is very, very slow, so... You also noticed, you might have been surprised earlier when we listed shears as one of the necessary items for the speedrun, but already he's using these shears to mine leaves, which is a very fast way to get a lot of blocks, which are very important in Minecraft, as it turns out. And yeah. also, he's going to be using it to get some wool off of some sheep later. So, uh, um, the, the, the leaves are really good because there's a, a strat you can use to like kill mobs. There's like a hole you can make, and then um, it's also useful for like tra uh, traversing the nether and the end, because um, there's, there's a lot of uh, places where like bridging over a certain place is like really useful. And also uh, for sh um, like memorizing like your location, especially in the nether, because the nether's like, it's really easy to get lost in the nether, so it's really uh, useful to like place blocks so you know where you went. Okay. And something kind of important has just happened, which is that Illumina has finally found a desert. Um, deserts are the best biome to hunt for Endermen, usually. And this desert is a little bit weird as deserts go, so I don't know if he's going to stay around here. But... Yeah, ideally we want to maximize the amount of space we have to spawn in mobs. And right now it's next to an ocean, so we're a little bit limited. Yeah, hopefully the desert is bigger than it looks, so... Yeah, yeah it we'll might see. continue. Um, one important thing we'll explain here is the version of the game he's playing on. Uh, so this is version 1.7.10, uh, and 1.7 is really the best for this uh, category. There, um, so this version came out, uh, I want to say, six years ago now. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this has been a while. And uh, so this was the first version to have savannas, and like we said earlier, he, he really wants a savanna. Uh, for a, a few reasons, mostly that they're next to deserts and they have food in them. Yeah. Uh, but also, um, newer versions have slower Ender Dragon fights because they changed um, they changed the entire fight in yeah. 1.9. So anything pre 1.9 is going to be much much faster. Yeah, and it's not only the dragon fight too. Uh, the stronghold that we mentioned that this entire run is about finding and then lighting the portal within. Um, on average, I think strongholds were pushed 2.5 times further away from spawn. So it's very hard to do a run on a modern version of the game and not lose around five minutes to just walking to the thing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so right now, um, I'm trying to like find a better savanna. Also, oh, okay, so this is one of the things that's also really good about deserts is that you can find a lot of like really useful structures. So there's desert temples that spawn and also villages, the like really, really common in deserts, so that's what I was kind of looking for. So, yeah, we found a village. It also has a blacksmith. Blacksmiths have, like, uh, a really good chance of having really useful items such as iron, iron armor, iron tools, diamonds, all that good stuff. Obsidian. And, and obsidian, yeah. yeah. We need obsidian to go to the nether uh, eventually, so. So in optimal playthroughs of this random seed category, um, you want to get into the nether in the first day cycle? Wow! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> all right, that's really <laughs> rare. <laughs> Clap for that. <laughs> oh my god. All right, that, oh my god. <laughs> that, oh that's my like a one in 500. <laughs> <laughs> we just got all the obsidian we need that to go is, to the nether. Yeah. That is super marathon like. <laughs> so, oh. in order to make a nether portal, you need uh, 10 obsidian minimum. And a what did you say? Uh, one in five hundred for that yeah, to have it, ten obsidian. Yeah, it's, so that's just ridiculous that he. Could, I've never <laughs> seen that in my own runs. Uh, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. If if that didn't happen, he would have used a lava lake to um and a water bucket to make the portal. Mm -hmm. But it's just I don't know. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. wait, wait. Oh. All right, hear me out. What if he, he uses Nether travel to you know? Oh, he doesn't yeah, have that's free. Never mind. Sorry. Possibility on the fly routing, but <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good luck. So that, Unfortunately, that really good. he won't have time to go to the Nether in this day because once yeah. the timer hits ten minutes, it's already at almost nine. Um, he has to be killing yeah. Uh, mobs. Yeah. So mobs, uh, hostile mobs, spawn at nighttime on the surface, and they, that starts at eleven minutes uh, after world creation and ends at 19 minutes after world creation, and it repeats. So at 11 and 19, 
and 31 and 39 and so on and so forth. So those times are when he really wants to be out in the desert uh, getting Enderman. And in between those times are when he wants to do, be doing other things like going to the nether during the day, looking for the stronghold. Getting wool like yeah. he is now. Yeah, getting wool. Wool is really important. We'll see it later on. Uh, yeah, it's kind We're of going to be getting a lot of wool for a, a lot of beds. And if you've never seen a speed run of this game, you might be a little surprised uh, as to what we're... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll leave it a surprise. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, she was our... Like I said, like, um, there's also like a bunch of other ways you can get, get wool. Or, like, the main other way you can get wool is desert temples, but... Uh, they're pretty random. Yeah. yeah. Not guaranteed. In the yeah. Uh, a temple in a desert, which is kind of like a pyramid sort of structure. Oh, we got chickens too. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 Um, he, he needs yeah. the feathers from the chickens to make arrows. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that you need to get in these first couple days. Uh, really bad luck. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them too, so. Yeah. He's, he's getting uh, all, right. pretty much all the stuff he needs from the overworld right now. And it's, it's about to turn night, so we're going to see him start to hunt for Enderman. And like we said, the kind of progression is killing Enderman to get uh, Ender Pearls, which are a 50% drop, and going to the Nether and killing Blazes from another fortress uh, to get Blaze Rods, which are used to create Blaze Powder. Uh, blaze Rods are also a 50% drop. So. Yeah, but we'll you get see, yeah, two we'll powder per rod. That's mm -hmm. worth noting. Yeah, we'll see that later on. Uh, right now, Illumina is going to begin hunting in the night. Yeah, so... Uh, just to set the stage. Did I hear an Enderman? Yeah, I just heard that. <laughs> I also heard an Probably Enderman. Probably not worth it, though. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. It's a cave Enderman. Yeah. So, uh, like we said, he, he needs 12 pearls, um, give or take. Uh, it's kind of complicated. And he needs um, seven, well, six or seven blaze rods mm. uh, just to be able to make all the eyes of Ender that he needs. And he's crafting some armor, which is good um, for a marathon. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem is is that I broke my axe by accident. I did not mean to do that, so I'm going to get one more stone. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. All right, so okay. this is first Enderman. And you can see he's building a little hidey hole, uh, which kind of protects him from the mobs around him. All right. All right, so he, he got his first pearl. Yeah, there you That's go. good. Yeah. That's yeah, well, a good omen. So one out of 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we should mention this category is definitely RNG. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to give some perspective, the world record in this category is, I believe, 26 minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, estimate is nowhere near that. <laughs> so. And th that's for good reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Enderman, A lot of stuff can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, Enderman can really bottleneck you. Uh, the Nether can. The, the Nether can be very painful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one more thing. He's playing on hard difficulty, <laughs> which makes hard difficulty makes all the mobs um, hurt a lot. Hurt more. a lot more. Yeah. So uh, luckily he has armor now, um, but hard mode is definitely pretty hard uh, when you're out and about in the nighttime. Yeah. Usually, usually actually, um, he plays on hardcore difficulty, which is like hard mode, except when you die, it's for good. Uh, so uh, you can't come back. <laughs> this is a luminous idea of a marathon straight safe strat, not to play on the easy mode, but just to say, okay, I'm, I'm allowing myself to die. <laughs> yeah. uh, hopefully, he won't die. Dying, uh, dying can cost a fair bit of time. Yeah, it really uh, so depends on the death. But, yeah. It's usually possible to recover from a death, but. Yeah. Depends where. But Illumina is yeah. pretty good, and I think most of the time he doesn't have any. Don't jinx it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, don't sorry. die. Don't die. We'll, we'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's a good time to bring up why he normally plays in hardcore. It's a, a tradition oh, yeah, yeah. from uh, the Japanese community of this speedrun, which is really large. Blue has some stuff. Yeah. Right? Uh, so big shout outs to the Japanese runners of this game. This category is really popular in Japan. Uh, they, they run almost exclusively this category. And for like, I think since like 2012, they've been running this. And most of the strats you're going to see and you have seen are actually developed by Japanese runners. Uh, and it's just some of, some, of, some of the runners that are just insane. Um, like when we first started picking up this category, uh, it was crazy what they were able to do. So big shout outs to them. Um, hopefully some of them are watching. Uh, and they really helped yeah. advance this uh, category. This night not looking too good so far, but... Yeah, we're, there's um, the spawn rate in this desert for whatever reason. It could be a... 
uh, there's a limit on how many mobs can be spawned in at once. Uh, in a single player world, um, on the render distance he's playing at, I think it's 70. Yeah. And if you're not, you'll notice that when he's hunting for these Endermen, he's constantly moving. And that's because uh, every single second that you stand still, uh, mobs spawn in caves underneath you. And those are mobs that you can't find on the surface and hunt. So you need to stay constantly moving to try and maximize your chance that you see an Enderman. Yeah, and once you get a certain distance away from uh, mobs, they'll despawn. So Yeah, so if you're constantly running in a line, you're maximizing the amount of mobs that are despawning. So more mobs, hopefully Endermen, can mm -hmm. uh, spawn around you. Yep. Un unfortunately, this desert is kind of small and a little bit hilly, so it's hard to... Uh, the Enderman from a distance. It's yeah, not the ideal desert. They'll try and make sure. the best of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skeleton creeper gang violence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also oh. to note, he needs... Uh, he can kill skeletons, which give arrows, but like we said, he's going to get most of his arrows from feathers and flint using crafting. Um, we got string boys. So, so a little something about Endermen. If you look at them, uh, they automatically anger at you, and they come at you. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We're at two. They come at you really quickly. And in casual gameplay, that's a little bit of a bummer, right? You look at a stray Enderman, and these things are scary when they're mad at you. Yeah. They move faster than pretty much yeah. anything in this version. Oh, oh. baby zombies. Two oh, okay, baby zombies. Oh, okay. <laughs> baby zombies are probably the worst. Yeah, they, I think they are the worst. They can fit in one block holes. They don't burn in the daylight like other undead mobs. They're twice as fast. They do, yeah. They they just really can gang up on you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the good thing about Endermen, uh, they, they can also teleport, and that's super good because you can look at a lot of Endermen from far away, uh, which saves time, you know, from having to run up and kill them. Yeah, you'll notice that so Illumina... They'll come to you, yeah. Yeah, you'll notice that Illumina does not usually run to Endermen. He keeps constantly moving, only pausing when he's actually killing some Endermen. Okay, so here we're seeing um, there's a few mobs ganging up on him. So what he just did was a little strat to uh, divert the zombies into the hole behind him so that he can focus on the Endermen. Mm -hmm. And when he gets out, you'll see that the zombies are in the hole Aww. because that's how their pathfinding works. And, yeah. Yeah, the zombies will track to your... They'll try and get on the same Y position, like the same uh, level as you. And so if you kind of manipulate their AI like that, uh, you can get them all in that hole. Yeah, on and hard. That, that's really good. Yeah, on hard mode for this category, you almost never want to hit a zombie, because when you hit a zombie, uh, it calls for reinforcements, which are new new zombies that spawn in the area, and those are mobs taking up that cap of seventy mobs mm -hmm. uh, that aren't Endermen, and of course we're trying to maximize the amount of Endermen that we see. Yep. Unfortunately, we aren't getting the best spawn rates. Uh, in this yeah, night cycle. Uh, yeah. And also the drop rate's not too good either, but... It's all right. We've killed five. Uh, and also... I think cool, we killed more than that, actually. Really? Okay. Cool fun fact is if you right-click creepers with a flint and steel, they will always blow up no matter how far away you run from them. Normally they have like a, a timer that if you run away from them within the timer, they'll, uh, they won't blow up. But if you hit them with a flint and steel, they always will. And that's actually useful for him because... Uh, he's trying to free up the mob cap, so oh, no. if he can oh. despawn mobs. Oh, no. oh this is bad. I'm just gonna, okay, if I keep them at a distance, they won't teleport straight to me, which is really nice to like know that, because... All right, okay. okay. So nice he, save. Nice save, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice! Oh, nice. Oh. This is the luck I wanted to see. <laughs> this, is, this is a relief. All right. I mean, four's like, pretty decent, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's eating now to heal. Yeah, yes. managing health is a completely underrated part of this category. It's really important. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the bit that I always forget, apparently. <laughs> I've seen your streams. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> All right. So he's got about 30 seconds left. Yeah. He'll hopefully get uh, one or two more spawns that he yeah. can kill, but... Ooh, there's two Endermen right there. There we go. Nice. There we go. If I can get at least one, that'd be nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah, five pearls in a night, that's not shabby at all. No. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, there's three Endermen. So once again, diverting the zombies. You'll see, he has a bit of a strategy for nice. every nice. single type of mob ganging up on him. And I think we've got one more Enderman on the right there. Yep. 
So all in all, this wasn't a terrible night. No, it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it did. Really turned around in the end there. Nah, and, nah, oh, there we go. And you've, and you've got the 10 obsidian, so you yeah. can just make yeah. the portal right here. <laughs> if, if Hopefully I don't mess it up. I, I've done this many, <laughs> yeah. many times. the portal up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Yeah, okay. Usually you make the portal with lava. Yeah. Making it yeah, with I 10 obsidian, it, like, uh, you never yeah. practice this. No, <laughs> Come I, on. Yeah. This, so, is, this is something I don't really practice. This this is advanced skills right here. Uh, one <laughs> right here. Kind of careful. Okay, there, there we go. go. Uh, so we're yeah. entering the nether. I wanted to show off a new portal strap, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that is true. Just uh, two days ago, someone found a slightly better setup for the leaves. Uh, when you're making a portal. Oh, okay, so ooh, this is not yeah. looking like a great spawn. So the oh, nether no. spawn is really important. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> He's in sort of a cave type area, uh, which is not great. He wants to be out in the open looking for nether fortresses. Um, yeah, in these caves. And it's hopefully it's not too far away. We're, yeah. you know, bless our I see the nether fortress. Oh, there oh. it is. Yeah. No one, no one cares, right? <laughs> oh wait, there's a spawner right here. Oh, I oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> literal yeah. hacks. Why, why, literal. Is, why is this run going so well? I was, I was really worried about the yeah. how the Nether would go, but it's the, the Nether. We, we were, were talking. Clear, yeah, yeah, we were talking just a few minutes before this, and we decided like the one thing that would be horrible to happen would uh, be uh -oh. another spawn. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, we're good. Is that some lag okay. there? We're good. No, I, they, have, they have pretty uh -oh. good boxes. You're low, man. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. <laughs> God. Yeah, if oh. he got hit there and set on fire, that probably would have been uh, not very good. <laughs> so those are the blaze rods he needs to pick up. He needs... Uh, this is close, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to go for seven of them. He needs six to make their, to make 12 Eyes of Ender. The thing about Eyes of Ender is you throw them to lead you to the Stronghold, which we'll see when he gets out of the Nether. Uh, and they can break while you're doing that. It's a one-fifth chance. Yeah, one in five chance. Feels like more than that. Uh, <laughs> but So if they break, Whoa. he'll need to make more, so he's going to get an extra Blaze Rock. But right now he's on really great pace because he doesn't have to be out of the Nether for... You know, a good. Yeah, he has minutes. before spawn start. He has ten minutes uh, more or almost less, yeah. to to be in here, which is more than enough. Yeah, this is in terms of nethers go. This is a pretty good one. And right now he's doing a strat where he kind of protects himself using those blocks uh, to shield him from the blazes. And so he just sits there waiting for their Dude, AI to. Luck. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> I don't what understand. Is this? I don't he know. Just got like three in a row there. Are you, sure, are you sure this is marathon luck? <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, you no. Know. We should contact the moderators. This yeah, this is yeah, not allowed. Yeah, a little fishy. <laughs> um, nah, this is, it's but, average. Yeah, so he's he's waiting for blazes to come down on this lower step here. Again. And while he's doing that, he can grind for flint. And he's he's going to have all the flint. He probably already has all the flint. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This Remember, uh, this is a 1 in 10 chance per block. Yeah, so uh, some real blessed RNG. Probably have to make another shovel? Yeah. Do yeah. I have a stone? No, I mean, I do you, though? You have 12. You have 12 flint. I, I mean, I was like, yeah. What are you talking about? So um, one flint translates into four arrows. Yeah, one flint... Uh, one stick and one feather make four arrows, so that's really good because if we had to get, uh, you know, oh no, 36 yeah. flint or whatever. Oh, this guy's a pain. So if you don't know, with zombie pick men, these guys are, um, they're, they, they're pick zombies. They're a neutral mob, which means they will not attack you automatically, but if you hit them, uh, all of the pig men in the nether will be uh, aggroed on you, and that's... That's yeah. really not what you want. Yeah, no. hitting a pigman is a way to kill a run. End a run, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, not end, but make it much, much, much harder on yourself. And I think he's almost at the, the number of rods that he, he has five yeah. currently. We should mention why he's holed up here in particular. Uh, that block with the little spinning blaze figurine and the fire particles around it, uh, that's a blaze spawner. Yeah. Um, so every 10 to 40 seconds, um, it. Uh, spawns blazes in here. Yeah, it, <laughs> I don't know why figure. that was so hard for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, it spawns blazes, and he wants to hold up here to, you know, get the maximum number of blazes. They can be found uh, freely spawning in the fortress there are at only a much two, lower rate. Yeah, I mean, there are only two spawners. So. Yeah, there are only two spawners in the fortress, so... Um, yeah, 
it's, it can be a little difficult to yeah, this, find. This was a very good nether. Just, yeah, this was really good. Uh -huh. Finding a fortress that yeah. close and yeah. the part of the fortress you found is a spawner? Yeah. That's hilarious. It's, it's, this is going ridiculous right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get one more blaze rod, so yeah. I'll have seven. And one ah. more thing to mention that I guess we were seeing earlier. If you're falling and you hit an enemy with a sword, uh, it actually gives you a critical hit. All right, we're good. Which does more damage. And yeah. all right, there we go. Yeah, he's, he's flying right now. Really great nether. Yeah. Yeah, so now he's got about uh, five minutes to kill. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, donations what, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, let me first, let me explain what he's going to do right here. Oh, yeah, that's true. So okay. he's going to do something called triangulation of the stronghold. To find the stronghold, you're supposed to throw an ender eye, uh, which he's going to craft right here. I forgot to cook food in the nether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it was so uh, fast. That's it's, a okay. it's okay. Um, so you throw an eye of ender, which is this thing, and it will give you the angle to the stronghold. So he knows that the stronghold is that way. Um, now, over long distances, this angle, there's no way to like hold this angle perfectly. And you also aren't going to know exactly where on that line the stronghold is. So he's going to triangulate it. Basically, if you, if you throw uh, a few eyes and you find the place where they like intersect, uh, you can know that that's yeah. the area that the it, stronghold it'll, is. It'll become clear when he's doing it, how it yeah. works. Um, yeah. Currently, that first throw was just to learn the general direction of the stronghold. Um, after which there's a certain um, ring around spawn in which strongholds can actually generate. There's a minimum distance, so he has and to get far And a maximum distance as well. Yeah. So he's going to head to roughly the center of that ring. Uh, he just sort of instinctively knows where it is. And once he's there, he's going to throw another eye, and he's going to make sure that he preserves the angle that that one head in. Yeah, that's going to be much more precise to learn the, yeah. mm. the precise. Uh, I might have to get more food here. So. Yeah, so he's going to do that. But anyway, this is a sort of a downtime of the yeah, run, so good time donations. Yeah, a couple donations. Absolutely. Uh, let's start off with $20 from Scribble. Oh, hey. Uh, hey Scribble. What's up? Hi, Illumina. Hi, Blue Crystal. Hi. Hi, Geo. And hey. hi, famous glitch hunter Matthew. <laughs> 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 I still can't believe you're actually sitting there on the couch. Uh, uh, don't yeah. forget String Illumina. <laughs> <laughs> and good luck. Greetings from Germany. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Illumina's PB... Uh, would have been world record by about two minutes, except he forgot to bring string for a bow. Yeah. And he spent three minutes finding that. Yeah. It was really sad to watch. Luckily, I oh my. Oh, this wow. Is oh, really wow. This is really close. It's going back to where we came from, so we so, passed the stronghold. Yeah, so he, it's going in almost the opposite direction now, so he knows he's really close and he's going to find it. I'm re I really wish I cooked food. I can't believe it. Right, let's, uh, let's get a six high, boys. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah. this run is nuts It's a right six now. high, then. So, yeah, to explain uh, and I wish we had more time for donations, but this is this is really fast. When he gets into the stronghold, there's uh, the the portal to the end isn't lit yet. He's going to need 12 eyes of ender to light the portal. Now the catch is there's a random chance there's a ra like a random number of uh, eyes that can already be in the portal, uh, and usually it's one or zero. But in rare cases, it could be, you know, more than that, uh, up all the way up to all 12, oh, nice. which will actually soft lock him. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so right there, an eye broke, uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but it's a, only a 1 in 10 chance for an eye to be filled. So. Yeah. yeah, and there's 12 eyes. So but do the math. It's he's probably going to get yeah. like a, a 1 eye or a 0 eye portal, in which case he'll need 11 or 12 eyes of his own. Yeah. Um, but that's one of the big RNG factors is how many, how many pearls exactly do you have to get? You know, can you only go in with 12? Do you want to play it safe and go in with, or can you only go in with <laughs> yeah. 10 or something? Play it safe and go in with 12, something like that. So, oh, oh so that way, that's okay. weird. That's fun. Yeah, right, okay. so that it's one didn't break. Far. It's not too far. So we'll see when he gets down there. Probably another two or three donations if you have them. Yeah, we could probably get. Absolutely. Uh, how about uh, fifty dollars from Perion? Minecraft hype. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, $50 from Summerspeak. My son and daughter are hyped for this Minecraft run and wanted to make a donation. So happy to be introducing them to GDQ and all the great work you do. So uh, I believe it's right here. Oh, sorry. For yeah. Yeah, it's right here. 
Yeah, he placed those leaf blocks earlier to okay. find the line. Um, I'm going to just play this safe. So usually I dig straight down, but just because I have a little bit of time, I'm just going to do this uh, baby yeah. strat. The uh, yeah. famous golden rule of rule number one of Minecraft is to never dig straight down. We break that rule a lot. Yeah. <laughs> in speed runs. Yeah. It's twice as fast. But he's, he's you know, he's going to play it safe for the marathon. Probably another... Donation. Yeah, sure. Uh, Twenty-five dollars from Cube Boy One. Happy to be watching the Minecraft run in person with my daughter Jenna. Death to the creepers. <laughs> uh, and he's probably okay. No, right, right there it is. Right there, there it is. Okay. Moment We're about to find out. Oh. Zero, zero. Oh. That's a shame. But we found we found yeah. it. At least. So we're here. Uh, not worth exploring, right? Uh, no, I have to go back yeah. immediately. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there are also. Um, uh, up to four chests yeah. in the stronghold that have random chance of having uh, Ender Pearl in it. Yeah. So sometimes uh, it's worth it to explore, but right now he has to get to the surface to get the next night cycle. Yeah, he's also probably going to pick up a little more food. Yeah, the night hits at 31 minutes. So, yeah. so one thing I want to explain is that unfortunately it's raining, and I was trying to kill mobs earlier to like get the cooked food, but it didn't work because. Uh, the the rain like makes this so they're not on fire anymore yeah. and you can't cook them. So. Yeah, that's that's one uh, really good thing about deserts and savannas is that they don't have rain. They can't rain. They're dry biomes. Um, so actually, rain will get rid of. Yeah. Endermen won't spawn when it's raining yeah. or or they hate water basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would be really bad if you were in a biome that and it was raining. You basically couldn't couldn't find Endermen there, but. We have a desert, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Th that's one of the main reasons, in fact, why once again, why he w intended to reset for Savannah. He got it first try. First try so, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah normally luck has been. Uh, I'm not gonna good. jinx it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we need seven more pearls. Yeah. I guess we have time for another couple of donations. That's great because we have two thousand five hundred and one dollars oh, wow. from Centare. Wow. Half of our Centaurians have been hanging out in the lounge all week watching these amazing runs while we work. Turns out watching speed runs also makes you code faster. Happy to help out on such an amazing cause. Uh, we have $30 from K Adam 65 Had to donate again to support our favorite incomprehensible Huntress Hannes for the Octopath run. As a reminder, during this, right at the end of this run, we're going to, uh, we'll know who our run for the Octopath Traveler run coming up next will be. Uh, currently, Therion is in the lead with $4,853, but Hannes is very close behind with $4,472. So if you'd like to see your favorite character in Octopath's run, be sure to get your donations in during this run. We have $250 from Swordsman1. I love watching GDQ every year. Let's all have fun and good luck on the runs, everyone. Uh, $200 from Squishy McBobo. As a casual Celeste player, looking forward to seeing the task demolish it. Hype! As an update here, the Taskbot plays Celeste, all berries run. We need $175,000 for that. We currently have $36,684.48 for that. So if you want to see that later, be sure to get your donations in. Um, so unfortunately right now he's having to waste a little bit of the nighttime that he could be um, getting Enderman to get food and uh, some wood for later. Uh, but it, it's worth it. You don't want to run out oh, of food. That Enderman just despawned. Oh, uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Um, yeah, that so happens. Hopefully, he's gonna um, get a fair, a good number of yeah, trolls. He, he's still got a good six minutes of night, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe this will help a little bit. We have one thousand dollars from Mojang. Wow. Hey. Shout out to Mojang. Mojang. Yes, big shout out. Big shout out. Yeah. Big shout out. <laughs> hey, SPDQ, we couldn't help but notice you're speedrunning a game that is uh, somewhat familiar to us. <laughs> <laughs> and for such a wonderful cause, too. Maybe we make a donation? Absolutely. Thank you for such an amazing event, and best of luck to Illumina. May the RNG gods continue to shine upon you <laughs> and have a blast with those beds in the end. We're cheering you on from the office. Thanks, thanks for the game, yeah, guys. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, thanks. Huge shout out to Mojang. Uh, they started out as a small, you know, indie studio, and here they are having to manage developing 
you know, the most popular game in the world, I think, right? Oh, beat cool. Tetris? Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Let's hear it for Minecraft, people. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Uh, we have uh, fifty dollars from Pie Man four seven two one one. Minecraft is one of those games my friends and I always go back to. Whether it's a vanilla server or heavily modded shenanigans, Minecraft doesn't get old. Good luck on the run. Ah, uh, this drop rate is pretty harsh to me right now. <laughs> yeah, we should check Not after to see the number of Endermen killed. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I think the estimate presumes that we'll get. Uh, all the pearls in three nights and a bit. Four nights. Four, four nights. Four nights. Yeah, well, so, so we have plenty of time. Like we said, it's all about the day and night cycles. If you have to wait another you know, day cycle to get Enderman, it's really tough. Even if you just need one pearl, uh, you might have to wait 10 minutes for the next night. Yeah. So that's kind of why one of the reasons the estimate is so high. I, I didn't think it would, this run would go that fast, but... Um, <laughs> We'll, we'll see how long it takes. Yeah, you know, once again, the world record is 26 minutes somehow. Whoa. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, here we go. Okay, we're shooting. <laughs> oh, <we're> close. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Baby zombies are so fast. They, yeah, they're, like, they're really bad. Uh, <laughs> Moment to eat, yeah. It's probably the most overpowered mom. Yeah, I don't, I don't like him at all. This is why you don't play on hard. Yeah. <laughs> so silly of me. To play on <laughs> marathon uh, safe. Give me a uh, at least you didn't fast bridge in the Nether. Yeah, uh, really. I mean, didn't I, have I, to. I didn't have to. <laughs> Sounds like they're giving you a bit of a hard time here. Yeah, well, <laughs> a you know. Bit. Oh, Illumina is really yeah, definitely when it comes to speed running, he's probably the best player in the world. Yeah, yeah. undoubtedly, he has the second place time. Um, even though, I mean, he's been on world record pace time after time. Yeah, he has, or he until like recently, I think he had top three times in every yeah. category, <laughs> uh, crazy. which is crazy. So. And um, also, it's not just the speedrunning aspect of the game that he's good back, good at. Um, back in, I think, 2016. <laughs> oh, no. That, oh, that's really bad. <laughs> that is yeah. not good. Poison is not great. I might have to, like, hide. <laughs> yeah, you might want to might wanna regen. So, uh, witches can... Oh, that's, that's great. Uh, that's bad luck. Yeah, this is not great. Uh, witches can throw potions at you. Uh, which can poison you or give you slowness effect. Uh, slowness doesn't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Poison will bring you down to half of a heart if, if it's a direct hit yeah. and lasts that Just long. Just hide, man. Yeah. Hiding stress. stress. Yeah. Can we get one donation, maybe? <laughs> uh, how about $200 from Benji the Black? Minecraft is my kid's favorite game, and we are delighted to support Doctors Without Borders. Onward to the nether. <laughs> All right. Uh, a couple more donations. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Uh, $15 from Negotiator. My kids have really been looking forward to the Minecraft run. All the best to Illumina. Keep up the good work, GDQ. Taskbot hype! <laughs> Come on. Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is atrocious. Yeah, we've yeah. got a bit of a dry spell going on here. So my luck was really good, but the Enderman luck, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Every time you get good luck in this category, something else goes wrong, so. Yeah. Probably more donations. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have one, we have $1,000 from Tormod Wolf. Uh, Tormod here, Heathcote sent me to make sure Therion finished his business. And what better there way than... <laughs> and what better way than fleeting into a last minute donation? Let's see you snatch that 3% chance with a run that raises like wildfire. Uh, $25 from Austin Cuber 252 hey. hey, Blue and Illumina. It's insane seeing you two on my computer screen. We've already had so many good times together, and I'm so happy that this run is going well. I can't believe you've been friends for five years already. All right, I'll let you focus. Nico. Thanks, Nico. Hey. Thank you, Nico. How many pearls are we up to this night? Um, Only We two. are seven out of 12. Yeah, seven total. Yeah. So once this night ends, um, you're probably going to be heading back to the stronghold um, to explore for the chests that we mentioned earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the stronghold, 
has a maximum of four chests. Um, usually there's at least one pearl that spawns in the chest, so it's really... There's a chance that we don't get any pearls at all, but I'm hoping we get at least one. Yeah, at the very least it's something to do while you yeah, wait that, for the next night cycle. the most productive thing to do. And also underground in the stronghold, there's a chance to get endermen, which don't spawn on the surface at day. Uh, so that's also something that can give him pearls. Fairly Jeez. unreliable, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, it's just a bonus. It's still a chance. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going back to the stronghold right now. A uh, couple more don donations. Uh, sure, we have $250 from Yulin Meichen. <laughs> Uh, my boyfriend, Le Fun Seeker, wanted to do a cute couple donation message. I just want to watch Taspot. I don't think with my boyfriend on the couch. Great work, guys. Uh, $10 from Wolf of Odin. This donation is on behalf of the Pure Vanilla Anarchy community. <laughs> it's great to see Minecraft back at a GDQ event. Looking forward to watching Illumina 1337 destroy Minecraft. The donation goes to Runner's Choice. Oh, um, shout outs to the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th that's something interesting about speedrunning Minecraft is that, you know, being the game that it is right now, there are so many communities. It's very easy to get lost down the rabbit hole of just different super niche Minecraft yeah, there's, communities. There's so many things to do in this game. Yeah, there's communities completely um, devoted to uh, parkour. Uh, and the stuff that like I learned about movement from just stumbling across that community in my YouTube recommended one day. <laughs> uh. So shout outs to, you know, all the small communities which, yeah. you know, really make Minecraft such a great game. And there's a great deal of collaboration between communities too. I know that uh, we've applied a lot of things directly to the speedrun uh, based on stuff we've learned. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. GeoSquare and I kind of showed up in the community from learning about it through was the technical community, I guess. Yeah. Um, and so our niche has kind of been the set seed categories and trying to improve the seeds used for that yeah. by writing programs and whatnot. <laughs> but I won't, I won't bore you much longer with that. <laughs> it's pretty irrelevant to this category. Yeah, so. currently we're searching the stronghold. Uh, cur I don't think he's found a chest yet. There's one right There's here. One, yeah. <clears throat> we'll see in a second once I kill this creeper. Okay. All right. It's very dark. Uh, All right, so uh, no, no pearl. Uh, the pearl is, I don't know the exact chance of a pearl, but it's, there's four, typically four uh, chests in a stronghold. And uh, usually you get, you know, on average you get one, uh, per, one pearl per stronghold. But we'll see. Another donation probably is good. <laughs> yeah, sure. we've got thirty dollars from some downtime. yeah, we've got thirty dollars from Lacklon one four nine. I love Minecraft. I have been playing it since I was three, and now I am eight. I really like playing <laughs> it with my dad. When we saw this game being run, we just knew we had to donate. Such a good cause. Thank you very much for your donations. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. I feel like we've seen a resurgence in Minecraft's popularity recently, um, which is really cool. Uh, just, I feel like this game brings a lot of people together, no matter uh, what kind of games you normally play. I feel like a lot of people bond over Minecraft. So it's been, it's been really fun, and I'm glad we can uh, show off this run at uh, this time in Minecraft's life. Something a little bit interesting that's going on right now is that uh, Illumina's visibility in this stronghold is a little bit worse uh, than it normally would be because he's so low to the ground. In this version of Minecraft, there's something called void fog, uh, which happens when you're this low. And I think that that's what's happening uh, down here. So that's making it a little bit harder to see down long corridors that maybe otherwise he would have spotted a chest at the end of. Yeah, I don't think there's going to... I mean, I didn't see a chest. I don't really want to be down there because the spawner and... Yeah, navigating through the stronghold, um, you know, you can see it's, it's really dark. There's a lot of ways to go. You can get lost pretty easily. Yeah. It's, hard, it's really hard to f figure out where to go. Um, you're pretty much just guessing where a chest might be, and you've got to think about, is it worth it to keep going? Maybe there's a chest, or maybe there's not. Sometimes you even have to, like, mine through walls just to find new sections yeah. because it makes sense. Yeah. It looks like he's found a new section. Oh, I heard an Enderman, I think. Did you? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I, 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 maybe I'm, maybe right. I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. So again, it would be daytime on the surface, so this is the best thing that Illumina can do right now. 
just uh, pray for a pearl. Yeah. That's the other nice thing about being underground during the daytime is that you see monsters underground. <laughs> but yeah. Endermen have a significantly lower spawn rate, as I'm sure everybody has seen. But yeah, they don't spawn nearly as often as... Unfortunately, nearly as often as... Oh, I do. Oh, I, I heard Norman. it, yeah. So maybe what he can it? find it. Is it below? Um. So like we said, he's got a lot of time to look around and see what he can find uh, because he has another seven-ish minutes until the next night. And hopefully after the next night we'll have all the pearls um, and we can continue on. But we'll see. Yeah. Sounds like a reasonable time to fit in a few more donations. Sure. Uh, $250 from the Fun Seeker, because we, you and Mei Chen and I, want to see Taskbot. Here's $250 for that incentive. GDQ is always great to watch. Also, more Taskbot is more Taskbot is more Taskbot. <laughs> Uh, $100 from Transit Delay. Very excited to see Minecraft at SGDQ 2019. I took the day off of work so I could watch with my two Minecraft addicted kids. Playing Minecraft after this is going to feel very slow. <laughs> Thanks, SGDQ and Illumina. Thank you. Um, this is kind of weird. Like, I don't know what to do. The lava is like, in the way, so I'm just yeah. going to dig through it. Yeah. Sometimes you get these weird... Uh, structures where the there's this ravine cutting through the stronghold. Oh, <laughs> there's a chi is that chicken underground? Yeah. chicken underground. All right, let's go. How did that? Oh, we're at seven ten. Yeah. Okay. Um. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. You explain it. There's there's basically I think it's a bug with this version where chicken jockeys, which are a rare mob, it's a a baby zombie riding a chicken, um, and in this version, the baby zombie just kind of despawns, <laughs> uh, and you have a chicken. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so, underground chickens. The zombie chickened out. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, is that our first pun of the run? <laughs> I think so. We've been rather well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep it at one? <laughs> for, for now. Oh. All right, so it's looking like... I, I forget. Did I get two or three chests? I yeah, think I got two. two. I think you two. hit two. I counted two. Okay. There is a chance that there can be less than four. It's just based on the yeah. generation of the stronghold. Yeah. yeah, this stronghold has had a lot of ravines cutting through it and whatnot, so I would not be surprised if it's the sort of thing that'll only have uh, two or three. Yeah. But Illumina has the time to, to kill, so might as well explore. Yeah, uh, the next night, once again, to remind everyone, hits at 51 minutes, so he's going to want to be on the surface and moving away from the stronghold uh, at that time. Oh, Illumina, you should um, maybe sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, as long as you have blocks to get out, maybe sleep above the stronghold? Mm. Could be. Yeah, that way if you die during the night. So if you sleep in a bed in this game, um, it sets your spawn. It sets point. your spawn point to the bed, uh, as long as the bed is intact. Uh, so he probably we're thinking he maybe wants to do that here, mostly for the Ender Dragon fight. Um, if he dies during the Ender Dragon fight, he will normally go all the way back to spawn, uh, which is super bad. Uh, so if he sleeps close to the uh, stronghold or in the stronghold, uh, he'll spawn back here and it's much quicker to go back. Yeah, it makes it particularly bad because Illumina is not using coordinates in this run. It's yeah. A, yeah. It's a minor um, subcategory of yeah. random sea glitch, glitch list, but... Yeah, that's uh, one thing that's technically allowed, um, but he is not... He's choosing not to use yeah, there's, out of, you know, Japanese tradition. Yeah, to explain what that is, uh, there's a debug screen in this game that shows you, among other things, uh, you know... Your position in the world. Yeah, as the yeah. coordinates. And, coordinates. Yeah. and um, it's not allowed, uh, once again, by... Japanese yeah, leaderboards. Yeah, Japanese leaderboards uh, ban using the F3. We've decided that it's allowed, it's a variable, um, but uh, Illumina is choosing not to use it. Just as he's running as, on hard as well. Yeah. Ooh! Okay, so this room is one of the rooms. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, so Illumina so knows the hidden room. Sword. 
Yeah. Yeah. So there is there is a chance that in these intersection kind of rooms, there can be rooms yeah. behind walls, uh, for whatever reason. And you need to sleep soon if you're gonna sleep. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll sleep on the surface, I guess. Yeah. I yeah. That makes that makes sense. Uh, so Wait, right now, where right now he's floor? yeah building another portal. It's much faster than towering out. Yeah. So a sort of quirk in this yeah, game because of the way the nether works. So oh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was good. Uh, the way the can, nether works is that it's a one yeah. to eight block scale, so you travel much further in the nether than you do in the overworld. What it, anyway, what it means is that when he comes out of this portal, he'll be on this first portal, not the one down in the stronghold. Yeah, this portal will go to his first portal. Yeah, yeah. so now he's out but of the desert. But then when he re-enters it, it'll go to his portal on the surface, not his portal. Yeah, exactly. So it's a really easy way to so. travel long distance, get where he wants to be to hunt more Endermen. Which is why he made sure to build that first portal in the desert. He was already thinking about this moment. Yeah, so even though there's a lot of random chance in this run, you can see it, it's really, it can be very reliable. There's a lot of strategy involved. A lot of it's uh, adapting, but uh, there are... A lot of uh, good ways to improve. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Illumina is a pretty consistent runner. Like, can consistently get um, times like sub 40 almost every day if he wants to, uh, which is insane. That's like, he's just uh, gotten really good at this. Um, pr yeah. Well, really the whole game, but... It's more consistent than anybody in the community. So. All right, so now he's making beds. Uh, and again, we'll see in... You know, hopefully just a little bit what uh, what that's going to be used for. Might want to grab more wood, by the way. I don't know if you huh, really huh. need it. I don't know why my craft... It. So that, i got to place it down again. <laughs> it could have been a ghost block. Um, I yeah. don't know, because he just used it. No. Um, anyway. <laughs> this version is weird. Anyway. Um, something, something never happened. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the night's going to, you know, starting now. We are uh, hoping, I think, He's at seven total, five eyes in the portal and two pearls. So he's going to go for five more, uh, and hopefully he gets that all tonight. If uh, not, again, he has to wait for the next night's. Like, yeah, I really hope I get five this night. <laughs> yeah, this, this would be nice to get uh, right yeah. now. I mean, it's pretty feasible. Yeah, bo both nights uh, should have been around. Last night he got very unlucky uh, against With a 50-50 yeah, chance. 50-50 chance for each Enderman, and he killed round six last night, and he only got two. He's due. He's due. Yeah. <laughs> Gambler's fallacy. Yeah. So we'll see. All right, but we've already got the first Enderman of the night, so I'm feeling hopeful. Maybe. Hey. 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 Okay. All right. Looking Four good. more. Four more. Uh, I guess we have time for donations. Or... Uh, that's great, because we have $500 for a Mojang 122. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. All of us here are cheering you on and watching with love from Mojang. Thank you, Mojang. Uh, $20 from Miracle Max. I'll chip in another $25 if Illumina tells me what his favorite block in Minecraft is. Oh. Don't block! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like leaves because they're easy to get. <laughs> what, what kind of leaves? Uh, acacia. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Minecraft acacia. hype. <laughs> hype. hype. <laughs> uh, $25 from Kona Rican Donating for a game I bought as Christmas gifts for my parents Who embraced it wholeheartedly <laughs> Hoping this comment gets read so they can hear it When watching the VOD later I really want to know how much Enderman I killed right now <laughs> You can check in the stats menu I mean I will after the run yeah. I guess yeah. yeah. The world wants to know <laughs> <laughs> We'll find out yeah, we, we, we should have Twitch probably knows uh, yeah, after they've been counting. counting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to wait a few moments, but I'm sure someone will know when that's the answer. While we wait for that, uh, $25 from Esclepias. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Always enjoy watching GDQ with my family. Uh, my seven-year-old daughter was excited for the Minecraft run and has been explaining the run to me the whole time and oh. having her run. <laughs> Happy to give for such a great cause. Good luck on the run. Hmm. We have a prodigy. <laughs> This run is actually really fun to just, you know, watch a few runs and then just start doing runs of it. It's a... Oh! oh there we go. One more. One more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, All right, there, there we the, go. The luck, the luck fit us back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess I we should also mention... Um, 
th there's sort of two ways that mobs can spawn in this game. They can spawn all by themselves, or they can spawn in packs. And pack spawns are much, much rarer, but so what you just saw there was a pack spawn of three Endermen. And, you know, pack spawns of Endermen are what you see a ton of in the world record runs, which get all 12 pearls in a night. Uh, so yeah, that was really lucky. And then to have all three Endermen drop, that was... Yeah. That was, Quite something. that was pretty high. We, we needed that. I thank, think. You, thank you, Mojang, for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was all, all Mojang. Yeah. yeah, Mojang, Mojang, if you want to bump it up to like a 75% drop chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Mojang, we do have $50 from Sunken City. Hey, all, this is Sunken City from Mojang's Bedrock Development Team. Hey. A bunch of us are watching from the office today. Keep up the amazing work, Illumina. Loving all the tricks and skill you're showing off is Ron. I'm super impressed. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Hey. Yay. Yay. All right, and going for one extra. more. Maybe yeah. an extra. Yeah. Hey. Hey. There we go. <laughs> that was a heck of a way to break the dry spell. Yeah. 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 Getting an Five extra pearl is not just uh, you know to flex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, pearls are also a very very fast uh, travel method. If you throw a pearl, uh, you get teleported to where the pearl lands. And so and he's right here at the. <laughs> oh, man. It's Wait, like you planned. Set the sand. It's, it's a sand. Wait, over there. where's it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have water at the right. bottom. So, so he's yeah. Yeah. Sleep, 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 sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sleep. So he's going to sleep to set his spawn point. Luckily, he, uh, he got here when it was night. All right, so and he is. And he is about to start the dragon fight. Okay, so this is... This is scary. This could oh, be really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we're so, ready, so I'm just going to go in. So hold on. We have to see how... It, uh-oh. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah, so the dragon sometimes Lock. rushes Lock. you right okay. off oh. the bat. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh. I think okay. we're okay. We're okay. Maybe. Oh, uh, is he attacking? Okay, no. No, we're good. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. We're fine. Yeah. So we're out of the, the probably the scariest part, which is the beginning. Uh, if, he, if he decided to, the dragon could have just... Knocked him off the edge and it just one shot him. It's one thing to die here, it's another thing to die in the void. If you die, if you fall into this void and die, all your items are lost. So, uh, he really wouldn't want that to happen, but yeah. be quite a process. Now, yeah, <laughs> all right, but we got past that. That was one of the scariest parts of the run, <laughs> yeah. So, these crystals, these pillars have crystals on them and crystals, and what they do is they heal the dragon. So, he's gonna try and take out all of them if he can. Uh, if he has good enough aim. This is, you know, this is going pretty well. Yeah, what do you actually oh, no. just... Oh, okay, we're good. Okay. All right, we're good. So, what, what you, you actually... said there was accidentally looked yeah. at an Enderman, and water will de-aggro the Enderman, so it's, it's incredibly handy to have. Yeah. Something you might have seen a little earlier is when the dragon was attached to a crystal, uh, Illumina destroyed it, and it actually dealt 5% uh, of the damage health... Damage... Yeah. Yeah. Dragon's health. Mm -hmm. So, it's... A less used strat, but it can actually soften up the dragon a little bit. Yeah. If you can do it, do it. Yeah, so, um, to quickly explain while he's getting these crystals, the way the dragon works is that at random he will pick a, a target. And this target can be a block, or it can be like a position, or it can be a player. Um, yeah. uh, it's obviously, a one. well, like, so we're going to see his strat for. Killing the dragon, and if you've never seen it, it's it's a pretty fun one. Yeah. Um, but he, we want us to, we want him to basically charge us. Okay, here we go. Here he goes. All right, <laughs> there, there was, there was it. So that was a decent hit. Um, yeah. So you'll notice he just did a ton of damage oh. with a bed. <laughs> yeah. He just tried to sleep in a bed, uh, and when they were making the game, I guess making the end. They, uh, they didn't want players to be able to sleep and set their spawn in the end, or the nether for that matter. Uh, so in those two dimensions, what happens when you try and sleep is it blows up. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of to troll you, I guess. Um, but we can actually use that really to our advantage because uh, he's going to be using beds and the explosion from them to do massive amount of damage to the dragon. Um, yeah. Optimally, he'll do you know, four hits four beds, and he'll be done. Yeah. The best you can get is three beds, but yeah. it's almost yeah. Yeah, very hard. So he's going to be going for another strat here, or for another hit here. Good. Very nice that was good. hit. That was good. That was very good hit. So doing, doing basically a quarter of the health bar is really good in one hit. That's what he wants. Yep. And he's going to be... Twice. 
Yeah. He's going to shoot the dragon to try and manipulate it to fly towards him. Yeah, so every time the dragon takes damage, he'll actually choose a new target. And the target chance for targeting the player is 25%. So three quarters of the time, the dragon won't rush him. No. Oh. 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 Unlucky. Darn. So if the dragon is really low, it can actually be really hard to hit with the bed, and it can actually destroy the bed. Um, so that was just a really tough, tough angle to hit. Yeah. Something that you might not really pick up on, but Illumina is manipulating where the dragon will approach him from by moving around here. And it's actually really important because you want the dragon to be above the bed when you explode it. Um, if he's too low, it's a really terrible situation to be in. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really not. Hard. It's really not an easy fight. Uh, so. And no, he's not attacking this, me. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. can happen where the dragon just doesn't charge at you, uh, and that's you, you. pretty much need that to get these hits. So here's one more. There nice we go. Nice hit. Nice. All right, we're on home stretch here. So this is actually going pretty well. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no. No, no. Oh. no way. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an example of a really bad charge, a really bad angle. There was really no way to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's one more. Don't don't Addition die. Addition to die in the end portal. Okay. Nice. Go. Time is coming up. By the yeah, way. Time's yeah. Up. Time right, when you on. see the credits. Got to pearl in. Huh? Time will be when the when he enters the portal and it fades to black. Time. There we go. All right. One hour. <laughs> that was really good. Almost sub hour, right? <laughs> yeah. Very almost. Good, very good. Yeah. Had that. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was just insane. I <laughs> I was really worried about the run. Yeah, I was. I was just because like, just because of how random it can be. Yeah, so. It's a real. It's really a testament to Illumina's skill here. This yeah. category is so random, but he's able to tackle it every single time. Yeah, so. and with remarkable consistency. I think only one of his practice runs actually didn't finish underestimate. Yeah, insane, insane. Yeah, so I mean. You know, it was just really, because of the nature of this category, it was just really, we weren't sure what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, but this, this was a really good run. So yeah, that was a, that was really uh, check, good. The, check the Enderman count. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 check that. Oh, I think I you got, got statistics. Got uh, you got 13 oh, yeah. out of... So, mobs, you have killed... 13 out of 32. 30, 30, <laughs> <laughs> not killed, great, not uh, great. 32 Enderman. 32 Enderman, and the 50% drop, we got... 13% of the time. Right. 14, 14, uh, so 14 I've, I've been asked to do this by um, so many people, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do slash seed. So this is the seed. If you want to check out the seed, try and see if you can beat my time. I don't know. What do you want to do? But the seed's <laughs> out there. This is the SGDQ 2019 seed, so, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll make sure you're playing on 1.7 if you want this to work, though. So Yeah, do we, I mean, if we have shout-outs, like, I want to oh, yeah. shout-out. Yeah, shout-outs. Uh, shout-out a group that Illumina and Iron, we've, a friend group, SMA. Uh, shout outs to all of you. Uh, we've just been really close. We um, started bonding over Minecraft and speedruns, and then uh, we've just been really good friends for, I mean, like five years now. So yeah. shout outs to all of you. Shout outs to the Japanese community for running this so yeah, especially, much. Especially uh, the yeah. world record holder, Taro Kitchen. Taro Kitchen. Yeah. Um, shout outs to him. He's like, he's, he's took this category to like another level yeah. that was like really inspiring to me. So that's what's made me want to learn this category. So uh, really huge shout outs to Taro Kitchen. And, uh, and shout outs to Ed Bistrol. Oh, yeah. Shout outs to, <laughs> shout outs. Shout outs to Bistrol MC. He's, a, he's an Osu player, a live streamer. And uh, he, uh, he like just one day randomly did this category, and I was surprised because I follow the Osu community, and he like gave my stream like a lot of support. So shout out to Beastro Lips. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> and I guess that's I don't it. Know if you guys yeah. have anyone? You Any, wanna... Anyone else? Thanks. Shout out to this guy. Yeah, shout oh. out to <laughs> Shout out to these Thanks. two for doing a lot of work. Yeah, they've put a lot of work. They know in a lot about this stuff. game way more than I do. Like they very knowledgeable people. Geo Square and Matthews. Like, All right, thank don't you. remind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, All right. right, I guess that's it. Yeah, that was Minecraft. That was that was Minecraft. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. All right, that was uh, Minecraft by Illumina, 1237, any percent, uh, random seed glitchless here at Summer Games Done Quick 2019, raising money for Doctors Without Borders. We have $250 from the Raddest Bro. The Raddest Bro here from the Minecraft Bedrock Dev Team. Awesome job on the run, Illumina. Uh, be careful when sleeping near that dragon, though. I hear the results can be explosive. Here's hoping you get some nether pearl drops as well. Uh, with that, I'm going to send it over to a few words from Twitch.
You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2019, raising money for your Doctors Without Borders. Coming up shortly, we'll be having a run of Octopath Traveler, where your donations will pick the run we get to see. We have $50 from Garnet One. I may not be able to share SP, but I can share some cash for a good cause. Put this last $50 towards one more push for Therion from me, and good luck to all the runners, hosts, and other staff for the rest of the event. Just to note, Therion currently has a commanding lead of $6,448, with Hanit trailing behind at $4,622. So if you want to see your favorite run of Octopath Toddler, be sure to get those donations in. We'll know which run we're running just after this upcoming interview. We have $25 from Shattery Mage 168. I don't even play Minecraft, yet here I am entranced by the speedrun. Good luck, Illumina. Put my money towards our Lord's Taskbot. $50 from Wiza. GDQ in our home is a family event. My wife, daughter, and I have it on the TV pretty much all week, twice a year. Minecraft is one of my fa daughter's favorite games, and she loves to play it with her papa, grandfather. Her, she was super excited to see it being run this event. May the RNG be with you. We have $50 from Tamer Jason. Watching a run of the game I work on is surreal. Cheers from the Bedrock scripted team at Mojang. We are all watching and cheering Illumina on. We might need you to come visit sometime and give us some play pointers. Uh, $100 from Silly Person 202 had to donate during Minecraft. It has, it has introduced my five and eight year old daughters to gaming with their gamer dad. We are all majorly hyped to see this at SGDQ. Uh, $5 from Cybermesh. Minding your own business? Don't you mean mining our own business? Uh, $25 from Shay165. Watch Taskbot destroy Celeste last year, and this year our robot overlord is going to collect all the berries? I need to see this. Uh, $80 from Kazra. Uh, let's climb to the summit of our donations goal and see that Celeste task run. With that, it sounds like we're ready for our interview with Illumina1337 by Keyseron. Take it away. Hey guys, it's Keyseron back again here at SGDQ 2019. I'm with Illumina, and uh, I'm just going to start right off the bat with a social media question from at RocksTV underscore. Got to point out the underscore that says, uh, how? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that run was absolutely nutty. We were actually just talking about this before we threw over to this interview. I was running around backstage, like running up to everyone like, this is so nutty. What's going on? <laughs> like, this was not at all what I expected to see. It was absolutely entertaining and, like, the, yeah, yeah. the luck, the luck all over the place. Can you kind of, like, go into your mindset uh, of that? Yeah, so basically, like, as a main thing that went wrong with the run, I would say, is, like, the ender pearl luck. Mm -hmm. That's, like, one of the things you have to worry about with the run is uh, the ender pearls because uh, you saw I killed, like, 32 endermen, and I think I got, like, 13 drops out of total. And then also another thing that kind of went bad is in, in the stronghold. Usually you get like one or more eyes in the portal already, but I got a zero eye. So like I had to um, get even like more pearls than I probably like should have usually. And then also I didn't get a single pearl in the stronghold, which is also kind of unlucky. But I did end up getting in three night cycles. Like the run's based on night cycles. Um, so getting like 12 to 13 pearls, which is like how much you need, is like totally doable in like four night cycles. And... Uh, even even more so because uh, deserts deserts are really good for hunting endermen because lots of mobs spawn in deserts and that's really the key to the whole speedrun is the deserts. 
Now, something I want to point out, which I never thought of when I played the game, the way that you kind of do like the turtle strategy <laughs> to hide behind blocks and attack things. Like that just seems like such an obvious thing. But yeah. Casually, I never thought of it. <laughs> were there other things like when you were starting to learn the game that like, oh, I never thought of that, even though oh, it seems so obvious. Pretty much everything. I'm gonna be honest. Like, um, just, like we, I think we touched on it in the run a bit, but Japan is like the pioneers of this category. They really like optimize this category. They put it from like. Like hat, like an hour and like 20 minutes to like all the way to like now, like 25 minutes. That's like impressive. Over the course of like since 2012. So yeah, like I'm pretty much almost every like strategy that I use that's for this category is like all of it, well, mostly all of it like was from the Japanese community. So big, big shout out to the Japanese community for sure. Now to go back a little bit on the whole luck thing. So one in 500 right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know like how accurate that that is, I don't like when he said one to five hundred. I was like, really? But it sounds believable it, to it, me. It, it it was really really lucky. Like that barely ha like that does not happen often. Like usually when you get obsidian in a village, it's like six or something like that. You usually don't get ten. The fact that I got ten and and ten like exactly like no more nor less. That was just insane. Like I don't know, that was crazy. Now to kind of see like how it counteracted with some of the bad luck you were having. How much time would you say that saved as opposed to how much time you lost to the to the eyes um, or not. I think the main thing that saved like the most of my time was the nether. The nether was insane. There was a blaze spawner literally like not that far from the portal. So I think that was probably like one of the biggest time savers of the run. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like the, the, it could have been a lot faster, if, like say if I got all the pearls within the first night, mm -hmm. but that didn't happen. So it, it could have been a lot faster, but overall, I'm, yeah, you know. I mean, I'm definitely not going to complain with the way the run went because <laughs> with, with all the up and down luck, it made it really exciting, nail-biting, yeah. edge of your seat. So let's go ahead and throw it back to some social media, shall we? So we got from at, oh, I was, at a clarity. Jeez, I cannot, I can't read, God. I can't count, I can't read. I don't know why I'm up here. You speedrun on a specific version of the game. Why this version, and are there other versions also used for speedruns? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. So 1.7 is used for this version because... Uh, Savannas were added in this game, and savannas always have deserts next to them, so there is really useful. And also, uh, 1.7 added the uh, auto sprint, so you can like sp like hold down sprint. Uh, before you had to like tap W twice to sprint, which is like it just saves a little bit of time. And then 1.8 and 1.7, they're like there's like minor differences. I'm not gonna go too into them, but 1.7 ultimately is better than 1.8. And then 1.9 and above, they added a new end fight, which takes like a little bit longer, like it's definitely slower. And then uh, there's also new combat and new combat. There's like cooldowns now. And uh, I think they're like trying to like remove that from the game in newer versions. But yeah, newer versions like, yeah, the, the cooldowns are like, yeah, they definitely slow down the run. Let's just go through one more question real quick before we throw it back up to the boys. So let's go with at the Shuver. I Hi, Shuver. Do you build your first house out of dirt, then remake it with cobblestone, then remake it with brick like I seem to do in every single playthrough? Yes. Well, there's your answer, there, there, There's the answer to that. <laughs> Everyone wanted to know. There you go. Well, thanks for coming out here. Yeah. Thanks for showing off Minecraft. Like, I'm... I'm blown away. Like, I'm actually really intrigued by the run now. I might actually look into it myself. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was so, the goal. That was the goal. <laughs> Good. You definitely accomplished it. This was Illumina. I'm Keys. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And we're going to throw it up front. You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2019. Uh, coming up next is a run of an Octopath Traveler single story. And it looks like by your generous donations, we will be seeing Therion's single story run. <laughs> That'll be coming up in just a few moments. In the meantime, we have $30 from 10 of clubs. I'm really grateful for games done quick. The runners donating to great causes and the good vibes all week long. Thank you to everyone behind the scenes making it happen. Donation is going to the Transistor Run, 